The West Kelowna Warriors and the Couch Valley Capitals did battle on Saturday night at Royal LePage Place in a goal-filled contest that started with the Capitals opening the scoring 4.54 into the hockey game. Mateo Lamaru picks up his ninth goal of the season for Brady Yakish and Spencer Shuguru on the power play. That gave Couch and a 1-0 lead in the opening period before the Warriors came back after that at 5.30. Jackson Kierkostas, the first of his two goals in the hockey game, takes a feed in the right face-off circle on a shot that hits the right shoulder of Ethan Morrow, the Cowichan goaltender, and goes back behind him. 15th goal of the year for Kierkostas from Vigo Nordstrom and Johannes Lockberg at 5.30. That tied the game 1-1 before a 9.03 Nordstrom Found the back of the net himself. Nice play up top. Trey Osmus from the blue line to the front of the net and tipped back into the front of the goal by Nordstrom. Fourth of the year from Osmus and Lockberg at 9.03, and that gave West Kelowna a 2-1 lead heading into period number two. At 13.04, it was Capitals that came back and tied the game. Matthew Swanson, his 11th goal of the season at 13.04, a power play goal for Couch, and again on a feed from Dryden. Kiramoto, Frederick DeShane's drew with the secondary assist and tied the game at two. The Warriors came back and got themselves back in the lead again. A tic-tac-toe passing play on a five-minute major power play. Trent Wilson, his 10th goal of the season from Johannes Lockberg and Vigo Nordstrom. Quickly on the power play going to work at 18:42, And that goal on the man advantage gave the Warriors a 3-2 lead. Going into the third where there was five goals, three of them from Cowichan. And it was the first of two in the period from Gavin Giesbrecht, who tipped in this shot from Brady Yakish from the right point at 317, up and over the glove side of Justin Katz. Luke Lavery drawing the secondary assist. That tied the game 3-3 before the Warriors gave the puck up, and Giesbrecht took advantage. Second of the period, sixth of the year at 539 on a shot over the glove of Katz, made it a 4-3 Cowich in lead. But the Warriors came back later in the period in a 1348. It's Jackson Kierkostas holding and shooting from the slot and finding its way past the glove side of Ethan Morrow. Kierkostas is 16th. Dylan Brooks and Johannes Lockberg picked up his fourth assist of the game, and the Warriors jumped ahead or jumped back into a 4-4 tie before just over a minute later at 14:49. Trey Osmus springs Michael Salandra on the breakaway to the forehand and backhand up and over the blocker side of Ethan Morrow. 13th goal of the season for Salandra, who was able to beat Morrow on the marker from Trey Osmus. That made it a 5-4 game before Cowich and Valley came back. And at 19-12, Darius Backler down the left side on a backhand that got off the inside of the right skate of Justin Katz and in to tie the game. Backler from Shugru and Lavery. 4 or 5-5 five, five, going to overtime, although some thought maybe not. That shot by Isaiah Norland could not get in under the buzzer. And the Capitals took advantage just 24 seconds into overtime. Matthew Swanson's 12th of the year from Brady Yakish and Brock Cummings. And it's Cowichan Valley that comes away with a goal in the final minute and a goal in overtime. They win at 6-5 over West Kelowna.